how to make chicken parmesan. Hello, welcome to Video Jug. My name is CJ, and today I'm gonna to show you how to cook chicken parmesan. Growing up in Italy, my mom showed me how to make this. It was really popular in our family. So let's get started. You will need the following ingredients to serve two people. There will be a complete recap at the end. Step one, prep the poultry. First, I'll take my chicken. What I want to do is I want to make it thinner because right now if I'm going to bread it up and I'm going to cook it, it's kind of thick and so the breading is going to get like all cooked way too much and it's not going to be that good and it's going to be all burnt. So to combat that, I'm going to try to slice it on the uh, inside here and open it up. So I keep my chicken like this, I hold it flat, I just use the blade of my knife and slice in like so. And I do it again, just a little bit, and as you can see, it is opened up. Step two, breading station. All right, now we're gonna make a breading station, which is essentially flour, an egg mixture, and um, some sort of breading, like in this case, we're using breadcrumbs. And now we're going to make the, uh, the egg mixture, which is just eggs and cream. I have three eggs, a little bit of cream, voila. Then we kind of whisk that together. until it's nice and all kind of one even color. Voila. And now we're going to uh, kind of season up our breadcrumbs. And this chicken parmesan, what would chicken parmesan be without more parmesan right here? I'm just gonna dump all this in there. So it's almost half breadcrumbs, half parmesan cheese. Just kind of mix that with my hands. Let's make sure it's all together. Step three, season and bread. First, I'm gonna season these uh, chicken breasts up. Very, very important. The cheese is salty, but it's not salty enough. So a little salt, a little pepper. And the other side. Voila. Pepper again. There we go. So let's start the breading station. The breading station consists of three separate dipping stations, the flour, the egg and cream mix, and the breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese mix. Okay, when I'm doing the breading station here, I wanna keep one hand dry to kinda of deal with my breadcrumbs over here. So this left hand is gonna be my dirty hand. First with the flour, just get it nice and coated. Kinda of want it touching the flour everywhere. Then into the egg wash, and then into the breadcrumbs and Parmesan. And I kinda of press it in there. That way it doesn't move. All right, so there's that. And now we're ready to cook. Step four, saute the chicken. It's time to uh, start sauteing this stuff. Remember my mama told me to use olive oil here, get just enough to cover the bottom. Here we go, when you lay something in the oil, I always lay it in away from you. There we go. Nice. You kind of juggle the pan like that to keep it from sticking so the bottom gets nice and toasty. Okay, if you see here, it's getting all nice and burnt, golden brown on the bottom there. It's probably cooked already halfway through right now. Here we go. Look at that, isn't that pretty? Same thing on this side though, you wanna kinda keep it moving so it doesn't stick to the bottom. Nice and crisp on the top here. Okay, and this right here. Step five, sauce, heat, and serve. All right, now we'll get this thing going in the oven here. Lift this guy up gingerly. We don't want to break any of that apart. There we go. A little marinara sauce here on top. I don't like taking putting marinara sauce all over the edges because I still like that crispiness. Then I use fresh mozzarella. I like to tear and put it on like this. Has a nice um, melting quality and gets all stringy and cool. So here we go. Some cheese just on top of the meat itself. Okay, the cheese is on, now it's ready to go in the oven. Oven's about 350 to 400. I like it a hotter oven, but if you want it to bake a little bit longer, you can do whatever you want. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes or so, and I'm gonna see how my chicken parm looks. Whew, it looks beautiful, all melty and luxurious. Here we go, but I'm gonna scoop it up and uh, plate it right over here. Ooh, yum. Voila. Chicken Parmesan is done.